hello and welcome back to another video in this video we're going to perform an offline installation of arch linux so we do not need to have internet on on the computer we are going to install arch linux but we do need to have internet connection in order to install arch linux so as you know we do download packages every time we install arch linux but there is an alternative for that you can download the packages once and create a custom pacman repo which i have shown how to in another video which will be linked in the description so we can use that local pacman repo and we can put it place it in a usb stick and we can use it to install arch linux offline so this is a one-time setup and just in case you know you have a lot of devices or you manage a lot of devices and you need to install arch linux and you don't want to wait for the downloading of the packages you can use this method it is quite fast so without further ado i'm going to start of course i'm going to use a virtual machine so i'm going to create a new one and i'm going to call it off offline arch linux so i'm just gonna set it to 1 gb of ram and i'm going to create a new disk and i'm going to give it 8 gbs and so now i'm going to add another disk of course if you were in you know using it on a real computer you could use this in a usb you could place this in a usb but i've already created a partition so i'm going to just add the disk with the packages the repository so if you want a tutorial on how to create the local custom repo of that pacman packages you can see the video in the description and now i'm going to start this we're going to go through this process together uh, however i did forget one thing and that is to remove the internet connection from this so let me re remove the internet connection and once it boots up i'll show that i did actually remove the internet connection i'm going to start from this verify the boot mode i even though i do know that i'm using bios mode but just for in case so the first command is ls let's say sorry my typing in that good from where slash efi slash efi vars so of course it cannot access that means we are using bios mode as i said so connect to the internet now of course i do not have an internet connection i do not have an adapter in this virtual machine so if i look say google if i ping google so you can see as you can see we do not have an internet connection so that means i am truly offline and <clears throat> if we perform an f disk slash uh, f disk minus l you can see that i have a disk of 5 gb which has a partition of 5 gigabytes as well which contains the packages so i'm going to use this it contains the repo so first it of course says to update the system clock so we're going to do that time date ctl set ntp true so hit enter and now it's done the next thing is partition the disk so of course i'm just going to create uh, partition the disk real quick i'm just going to create a new disk of one gigabyte for the swap and i'm going to create another one for the linux itself for the linux partition so i'm going to change the partition type of partition one to swap and that's it and now i'm going to format the disks so make swap slash dev slash sda1 and and if we i'm going to create a better fs partition but you can create an xt4 one slash dev slash sda2 so as you can see i've created if i perform an f disk minus l you can see that i have now i do now have two partitions one swap and one linux one so i'm just since i'm using the bios one i am just following this one but if you are on efi you have to follow this so we have already done formatting the partitions and mounting the file systems of course now i'm not going to mount it to slash mnt instead i'm going to create two folders i'm going to call it root and another folder i'm going to call it custom repo now here i'm going to 
mount the custom repo which is slash sdb1 you need to be sure of the disk you have the packages in mine is slash dev slash sdb1 so i'm going to mount it to custom repo and i'm also going to mount the linux partition i just created which is slash dev slash sda2 to root and i'm also going to turn on the swap on the partition uh, we just created as well so now it's done we have mounted the file system and if you do have efi you have to mount the efi partition system and now it's the time for actual installation so before we install uh, we do need to edit the pacman file so then slash etc slash pacman dot conf so we need to comment these out these repositories out as we do not have internet access so i'm going to comment them out by placing hash symbol before every and i'm just going to add my own custom repository so as if you need to start that with square brackets and then you need to type the name of your custom repository the name of the repository must be the same which you followed in the video my repository was named custom so i created a repository called custom.db.r.gz if you're still unsure what i'm doing you need to follow the video in the description and you need to create the repository so i'm going to i'm going to continue assuming that you have created your own custom repository so you're going to place uh, the name of that and then you're going to write sig level equals optional and server equals file slash slash path of the you know the folder where you mounted so mine was slash mnt slash custom repo slash so this is my path so i'm just going to perform a pacman minus syy and as you can see it synchronized the repo database and i do not have an internet connection so it's just an offline now we are going to install the essential packages which are now you do need to make sure that you download these packages and add them to the repo so if you have added in my case i have added that to i'm going to run backstrap slash mnt slash root which is the where i'm going to install the new arch linux system and the packages i'm going to install are base linux lts which is linux long-term support kernel and linux firmware you can install any number of packages like you can install kde applications plasma and other things but i'm just going to remain simple and add terminator and i3 as and sddm as the login creator so it's, you can see how fast it is instead of waiting there to down, for it to download all the packages you can just place it in usb stick and it will go like boom unless you have a really fast internet connection this is a better way you will have to update those packages after you run arch linux as you can see we are done however i just remembered that if you have if you went with beta fs you do need to install another package called butterfs dash progs so i'm just going to install it right now and once it's done we'll follow on to the next step which is configuring the system and we're going to generate an fstab file so so and we're going to say genfstab minus u slash mnt slash root and we're going to first see i'm going to first see yeah it is all right so i'm just going to forward it to the slash mnt root slash etc slash fstab file and now it's in that fstab file and now we need to g root ch root or whatever you got pronounce it uh we need to change root that's better and now we are in the new system as change we have changed the root so of course i'm going to change the time zone which is since i live in pakistan it's going to be karachi so zone info asia 
Karachi and slash etc is local time and now we just need to adjust the hardware clock that's done as well and now it's time for localization you can use your custom local but i'm just going to you know add so i'm gonna say is echo en us dot utf 8 utf 8 want to add that to look dot gen so if we get the contents of it should contain yes as you can see at the end it does contain enjus so now i'm just going to run local gen and it's going to generate the locals then we need to edit the local.com file and i'm going to say what the vim command not found oh yeah we i forgot to install vim as well so i'm just going to backstrap that as well slash mnt and if in case you need network you also need network manager and iwd in case you need wireless so i'm just going to install those make sure that you install all the packages because if you don't you'll be in mess like me i'm going to change root again and now i'm going to edit the local.conf file and i'm going to select equals in us utf8 so that's done if you want to set the console keyboard layout which i don't want to you can do it and now it's network configuration and need to edit slash etc slash host name so i'm just going to say check pc that's it and if you want more you can you know complete the network configuration and network manager you can read these all these things the basic part the main part about installing Arch Linux offline was that repo stuff it's already done so now it's time to init ramfs so make init cpio minus p in case you did install uh, you did make the butterfs file system but did not install the package butterfs dash progs there will be an error here saying fail to find fsck dot butterfs so in order to finish that error you do need to install butterfs dash progs so hit enter it's going to do its stuff and i'm going to change the password to 123123 of course it's not a good password do not take my advice for it and i'm going to create a new user with my name and i'm going to change its password of course to 123123 and now only two things are left we need to install grub and we need to enable some services like sys, uh, like sddm so i'm going to say systemctl enable sddm and then i'm also going to enable network manager you can enable other services in case you have installed them and now is the right time to do it now i'm going to exit and i'm going to pack strap grub into into the Arch Linux so slash mnt slash root and in case you are wondering that if we could edit the pacman file inside the Arch Linux installation we could but I'm just going to packstrap it as I have already done the editing part so I'm just going to say arch root slash mnt root now it's time to install grub so I remember so you need if you need you can open the grub page and of course there are different instructions depending on the what type of partition table you are following and mine is i'm going to follow installation this one because i'm using the bios mode but in case you are using uf uefi you need to follow these instructions so do follow the appropriate instructions and it is grub install grub install minus target equals i386 pc 
and the name of the you know disk so mine was slash dev slash sda the disk where you install linux or arch linux so it enter and it will install and then we need to generate the configuration file which is of course going to be this so we're gonna say grub make config minus o slash slash grub slash grub dot cfg so once this is done okay it did give us a warning warning os prober will not be executed to detect any other bootable partitions os prober is a package in case you want to detect other operating systems like windows or other distros of linux just going to exit and i'm going to unmount all of uh, all of them of course and now i'm going to reboot this time i'll choose the hard disk and of course with this will depend uh, this will be different depending on the device and i hope arch linux should be done and it is now there is an error i did forget to install terminator or did not i think i did not okay so it's saying i3 first configuration you have not configured i3 yet do you want me to generate a config at yes i generate the config and i want windows and if you press enter we have it it is arch linux so this is it offline arch linux and the reason i did not explain the commands in detail was because this was not a basic beginner tutorial it was for people who already know how to install arch linux and the main part was about creating the repository custom repository which is mentioned in another video the link is in the description if you want to create the repository and the main part was to edit the pacman file to add that repository and then use that pacman repository to install the download already downloaded packages now the best thing you need to do now is to run sudo pacman minus syyu so that it completely upgrades your system of course i did not install sudo but if i change system change to root and if i will run but it won't run out because i do not have internet but you need to update your system and just in case you can't update your system and it is you are running it in offline uh, you are running it offline you can use the same repo so what you're going to do is of course if i f say f disk minus l i do have that disk still so i'm just going to vim and edit the pacman dot con file and i'm just going to edit these i don't understand okay <clears throat> So I'm just going to add the repository man, which was the name was custom and sig level equals optional and server equals file and t slash I'm just going to call it custom repo again. So I'm going to make this. So I'm going to mount the disk and now if i run pacman minus syyu it will have nothing to do because i just installed the packages from the same repository but in case you want to update it this offline machine you can add those packages to the repository download updated packages add those updated packages to the repository and use that repository and to update this offline machine by plugging the usb or doing well. so this was it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something new and if you did leave a like if you did not feel free to dislike and feedback goes in the comment section i hope to see you guys again bye bye